Hey guys and welcome to my world. Hope you all had a good Halloween. Let me know down in the comment section what you did. If you watched any films, what you thought of them, let me know. So today's video is going to be all of my pickups from October. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So yeah, if you don't already know, I love comic book movies, especially the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Christopher Nolan's Batmans are great. And so I thought I would upgrade my classic Batman with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson from DVD to Blu-ray. It is Blu -ray. the 25th anniversary Zabby Diamond Lux exclusive. Look at the artwork. That's the cover. So yeah, I picked this up from Zabby. I saw it for $7.99. Retail price is 25 I believe it's now at about 10 So yeah, let's take a look at the artwork. So as you can see, that's the cover. Very nice. Nice looking Batman logo there. Show you the back. There's the bat signal in the sky. It's very nice. Sleek design nice. on the casing. It's a bit slimmer than other Blu-rays. Let's take a look at the artwork inside. Here's the artwork inside, guys. You've got Michael Keaton's Batman there. Jack Nicholson's Joker. Looking very, very nice. The artwork is pristine and beautiful. There's Batman. The artwork is beautiful. It comes with lots and lots of extras, and I believe it has on the second disc it has um, a documentary that wasn't released on the other versions of this Blu ray. So, yeah, pretty happy with that purchase considering the price. Diamond Lux editions are limited to 2,000 copies, so if you are going to get one, I'd get it soon, especially at the price. It's ten ninety nine on Zavi currently. I will put a link in the description below, so check that out. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Even Nolan's joke should be serious about picking this one up. So my next pickup is an amazing film. I don't I don't think there are that many films that I think are perfect. I mean you've got Shawshank Redemption and the green mile and that is what i picked up the green mile now this film i absolutely love it the acting is superb it is emotional and you can't help but just get invest invested in the it story. also has great rewatch value i mean tom hanks michael clark duncan it's just just fantastic chemistry the story is amazing. This is the 15th anniversary Zavi exclusive Diamond Lux edition, just like my Batman. It is retailed at £25, around £25. I picked it up for £7.99 again in the sale. I believe it is currently at £9.99, so again, I will put a link in the description below if you want to pick it up. So let's take a look at the artwork for the Green Mile. Here's the front cover, nice design, got them walking the mile on the back, very nice, very nice, let's take a look inside. It's the artwork inside, we've got Tom Hanks, Michael Clark Duncan, It's very nice artwork. It's very, very nice artwork. So yeah, sleek design like Batman. It's very nice. Love the artwork for these Diamond Lux editions. It is beautiful. It is very nice to have in the collection. So yeah, happy with it. Comes purchase. with tons of extras. 
Um, I believe it has an extended version of a documentary on disc 2 that was on the original release. So the only new extra is the extended version of Walking the Mile. But again, you can't really complain at the price. I mean, it is definitely one to have in the collection if you are collecting. I mean, look at the artwork. It is. It is lovely. So yeah. My next pickup, mile. you may have already seen it if you'd seen my video of the family films to watch this Halloween. Uh, it is a Steven Spielberg classic and it is The Gremlins. Now this is the 30th anniversary Zavi exclusive Diamond Lux edition. So again it is limited to 2000 copies. Like Batman and the Green Mile. I picked this up at 7 99 uh, retail again at £25. Uh, I believe it's at £9.99 also, so I'll put the link in the description below to there. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, let's have a look, take a look at the artwork for Gremlins. Gizmo on the front cover. How cute is Gizmo? Look at him. Look at Gizmo. Oh, little Mogwai. <laughs> Got Stripe riding the trike. On the back, let's take a look inside. There he is, Gizmo himself. And Stripe. Hopefully you can all see this. So yeah, like the other two Diamond Lux editions, the artwork is pristine and beautiful. It looks very, very nice. Sleek design again. So yeah, again, happy with this purchase. So yeah, it's got tons of extras on disc one with the feature. Uh, disc two, it's got five new extras that weren't on the original release. They are the making of the uh, gremlins. From Gizmo to gremlins, creating the creatures, hanging with Hoyt on the set, and two motion comics. So yeah, Again, at the price you cannot complain, especially with the artwork. The Blu-ray is nice looking, like great picture quality, so can't really complain at the price. I upgraded it from DVD to Blu-ray. Great. My next purchase is a film I saw in cinema, and I absolutely loved it. I'm not even going to lie, it is my favourite and best cinema experience this year so far. Here's hoping episode 7, here's hoping. What a Blu-ray! What a lovely Blu-ray! Mad Max Fury Road. Now I've seen the original Mad Max with Mel Gibson. Haven't seen Road Warrior or Thunderdome, so I don't know what they're like. But I have a funny experience with Mad Max, the original. Uh, my mum got it for me for a Christmas, a few Christmases ago. Um, and... I was home alone once and I thought, Do you know what, I'm gonna, gonna get myself a nice cold cider, put on a film and watch it. So I did and I put on Mad Max and well, I, I was bored, I was bored out of my mind, I was watching it. And then, spoilers if you haven't already seen it, but it got to this, got to this scene, it started picking up, well I thought it started picking up from what I, what I was already watching. Uh, and. So Mel Gibson's handcuffed this guy to the car, the crash car, and he tells him that it's going to blow up in however long it is, I can't really remember, and then chucks him, I think it's a saw, and says you can cut through your ankle or hand in however long to escape. And I was like, oh yeah, it's getting good, it's getting good. And then you have Mel Gibson walk away, and boom, blows up, and that's that's the end of the film. And I was like... So yeah, I thought the film picked up within the last five minutes, I'd say. So I was a bit disappointed with that. I didn't really like the first Mad Max, but this, Fury Road, I absolutely loved. Now, I can understand people's problems with it. For for example, the lack of Tom and Hardy. And Charlie Theron's character being the main character, not really Max. So yeah, I can understand the problem with it being a Mad Max film but Furiosa being the main character. I can understand that. Didn't really have a problem with that considering how good the action is. I mean, 
the practical effects in this, the explosions, it is a change of it is a change of pace. Seeing explosions I mean, this like film this is epic. It is high octane. It is a great car chase. I mean, from start to finish, you just you just you get mind blown. I mean. Especially everything to do with the car chase. I mean, the explosions, the <laughs> the guitar player. Now I understand people don't like the guitar player and was like, why have they got a flame for a gu guitar player? Especially my brother. My brother. My brother didn't understand all like that. I did, and I mean, if the orcs in Lord of the Rings can have drums, why can't why can't the uh, the boss of the warlords have a flame for a guitar player? I mean, the Why picture not? quality is great. The colours are just so vibrant, and they they pop off the screen. It it is really beautiful looking Blu-ray. Highly highly recommend checking this out. So yeah, highly recommend checking that out, especially for the action. It is amazing. I absolutely loved it. Best cinema experience this far. I mean, it's directed by a seventy-year-old man, George Miller. Make more. Make more. So my next purchase on Blu-ray is a Disney classic and I have a huge soft spot for Disney. I absolutely love them. Favourite being Hercules. I love The Lion King. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love... Not not many people like Chicken Little. I, I love it. I love Meet the Robinsons as well. I think that's hugely underrated and not a lot of people have seen it considering... So yeah, that is highly check recommend checking that out. But yeah, my girlfriend put on one the other day on Netflix, and I sat down and watched it with, and I forgot how good this film is. I mean, Brother Bear, I haven't even unwrapped it yet, that's how recently I bought it. Saw it on Netflix, watching it, and I forgot how good it was, and so I had to buy it, I had to have it in my collection. So yeah, I picked up the uh, O-Ring Artwork Edition, the nice, sleek, crisp, vibrant slipcase. Had to get that one to go with my collection. So yeah, this film is heartfelt, it is fun, it's humorous for both kids and adults. It's got a nice touching I mean, story to it. Everybody, I'm on my way. New friends and new places to see. How can you not just sing along to that song? I mean, it came on and I instantly remembered the words. It was... I had some fun. I had some fun. Yeah, so... Absolutely love this film and I'm... Glad to have it in my collection. I mean, there's... There's the slipcase. Nice artwork. Let's open it up. Nice Blu-ray smell. You gotta love that nice Blu-ray smell. Yeah, I mean, look at it. So, as the original cover. Mm, slipcase. Classic forty-three is now sitting nicely. Between Hercules and Chicken Little. Oh! Baymax attacking me. Did you see that? He tried headbutting me. So yeah, that's all my Blu-ray purchases uh, from October. Now let's get into the good stuff. Pop Funkos. Ah, if you haven't already noticed, I absolutely love them. That's what I got. Sauron from Lord of the Rings. I mean, I like I like my villains. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So yeah, I picked this up in a deal on Zavi, which is still on two for twenty. So I'll put a link in the description below for that. Yeah, Sauron. And with that in the two for twenty, I picked up Star Wars pop vinyl, Bosk. Nice little bobblehead there. Pick that up. 
again, two for 20. My final Pop Funko I bought, let's get to this. The Underground Toys exclusive Harry Potter with the Gryffindor Sword. Hopefully you can all see that. So I saw this on Zavi, I'll put the link in the description below. I think it was $13.99, still at $13.99. Saw that, and I was like, I do love an exclusive pop, so I, I just had to get it. Let's take a look. Is nice. I mean, have a look at that. Hopefully, my camera focuses. Can you see that? The detail. You've got the Gryffindor sword, the scar. That is nice. So, yeah, that's my purchases this October. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll try and get more to you. So yeah, that's all my purchases from this October, other than this t-shirt, if you haven't already seen. Star Wars Vader, join the dark side. Picked that up from Zavi, 3 dollars it's not on there anymore, sadly. Uh, so yeah, can't put the link If you like this video and want more, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you did Halloween. Let me know what you picked up last month, October. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get more videos to you. I'm going to do a channel update letting you know what's coming. And yeah, I'll try and get a November pickups uh, video to you. Shoot, uh, well, next month. Take care, guys. See you later. I can't believe you attacked me. I cannot believe it.